Hey everybody and welcome to Core Fundamentals of Web Development. In this course, we're gonna use pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with no libraries and no frameworks to create a link saver application. So I wanna to talk to you about a few different things in this introduction video. I wanna first of all welcome you to the course. Thank you for coming and checking it out. I hope that you enjoy it. And I want to say up front, please reach out, connect with me if you have any suggestions, feedback, things that you would like to see, bonus videos, stuff like that. I would love to hear about it. You can find me on Twitter at JamesQQuick, or you can use the hashtag CoreWebDev. So I also want to tell you a little bit about who I am, why I think this course is so important, what we're going to build, and what topics we're going to cover along the way. So a little bit about me, I got started with web development almost two years ago. Before that, I had been doing mobile development and cloud development with Microsoft as a technical evangelist, working with people in the community, teaching them how to build cool stuff and use some of our technologies. And basically on a whim, I took a web development course and I fell in love and I've been doing it ever since. So I spend tons of my time on YouTube, on Udemy, on blogs and finding articles and learning as much about web development as I can. And after the first six months of really diving in deep in my spare time, I started doing full-time de web development at work and now I'm leading the modern web development effort on my team. So why this course is so important to me, when I got started on web development, I think I really tried to dive in too fast. I tried to start using different things like Bootstrap and Angular things that were supposedly gonna make web development a lot easier and quicker for me. And in many ways they did. All of these different libraries and frameworks, not all of them, but a lot of them are incredibly amazing. They're incredibly well done and well put together and it shows because so many people use them. But when I went down that path of trying to leverage other technologies before really understanding what they were doing for me, I started to have problems. When I would have a problem that one of these frameworks couldn't solve, I, I realized that I struggled to solve it myself. So I, I immediately kind of started diving into kind of the, the foundation of web development, starting to focus on just raw HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and really understand what they did. It gave me a better understanding of what libraries and frameworks did for me, the problems that they were trying to solve for me, and how they were trying to solve them. And so that's why I think this course is so incredibly important is if you really master these core fundamentals and you really understand everything that we go through in this series, you will have a better platform, a better understanding going forward so that you can adopt new technologies and solve those very specific issues when they rise up. So what are we gonna build? We're gonna create a link saver application which gives the user the ability to come in and save a link to an article or a video or something that they found give it a title, give the URL, and give it a comma separated list of categories that as you type in, they show below as you press each comma. So notice here I've got a couple of these already saved. We can delete these and we can edit them. Edit's gonna pop open this form. It's got a little bit of animation to it. You see some transitions on these buttons here. And if we come into our console and make this a little bit smaller, you can see these are also responsive. So we're gonna get into responsive design with Flexbox. We're gonna talk about CSS variables and resets. Then we're gonna talk about just core JavaScript, working with and manipulating DOM elements, creating event listeners, creating and handling form submissions. We'll get a look at some of the newest features of JavaScript as of ES6 or ECMAScript 6, which is ECMAScript 2015. We'll look at arrow functions, declaring variables with constant let, the let of loop and template literals. We'll get into that responsive design with media queries and Flexbox. And then we'll end this with looking at CSS transitions and animations. Now, the way this course is gonna work, first of all, we've got all of our content is gonna be github.com slash James Q quick. There's a Q in the middle. So two Qs back to back and then core fundamentals of web development. And you'll have this link in, your, in the description in the YouTube video. So on this repository, we're gonna have access to all of the source code for each different part. Part 10, for example, will have the finished code from the part 10 video. If you're looking for the starter code for part 10, for example, you can come and grab the part nine finished starter code. So when you finish one video, you're gonna take that code right into the next. Now also on the GitHub repository, we've got a description of what we're gonna cover. We've got the format here, and then we've got a, a quick section for each one of the different videos 
that's going to have what we're going to cover, some references that you guys can look at, and links to the video and the source code. Now, as far as additional references, we are going to cover a lot of different topics here. We're not necessarily going to cover every single piece of functionality for a given topic. For example, with CSS Flexbox, this is a broad topic that can be used in so many different ways and is so powerful, we're not going to be able to cover everything that it can do. So during this course, I'm going to point out certain sections that are a little more complicated, a little more, a little more advanced that to really and fully understand them, you're going to have to go out there and do some, some additional effort on your own outside of this course. So in most of these videos, I'm going to give you links to additional resources, things that you can go and read about, videos that you can watch, documentation that you can find in the Mozilla Developer Network. And hopefully between this course and some of the additional resources, you guys are going to walk off with a better core foundation understanding of how web development works and you're going to be set up for a better position when you go and take on new technologies and build new things in the future. So the last thing I want to do in regards to additional references that you can look at, I've got a couple of people here that I'm mentioning, West Boss, Traverse, Traversy Media, or Brad Traversy, and then Colt Steel. And these guys have created some of the best content that I've followed over the past couple of years. I follow everything that they do, and I couldn't, I couldn't recommend them to you guys more highly. So West Boss, first off, has several different courses, free and paid, that you can find at westboss.com slash courses. He's got ES6, he's got React, he's got pure JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript, 30 different examples that are really fantastic. A learn node course, Sublime, What the Flexbox, Command Line, Power User. I've taken the majority of these courses and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed them. They are amazing. He's a great instructor with a wealth of knowledge and does a great job with his content. Now next we've got Colt Steele. And Colt Steele is, re is really the reason that I got into web development because his, because his web developer boot camp course on Udemy was the first web development introduction that I got. So for $10, I got an introduction to web development and I got really kind of the core thing that really sparked my interest in web development. I'm currently going through, and hit, going through his advanced web development course now and it obviously covers more advanced topics and is really great for my transition as I move on to some of those bigger topics. And then lastly, there's Traversy Media. Now Traversy Media runs, or Brad Traversy runs this YouTube channel that's got tons of free content he, he has a goal of creating a video every day, I think, um, and he just covers all different kinds of topics so you can find almost anything you can think of covered by him. And then he's got a couple of courses on Udemy that you can find as well. I've taken the Node and Express, Node, Express, and Mongo, as well as the Angular 4 front to back, and I'm going to look into a couple of his other courses as well. So lastly, I want to thank you guys again for checking out the course. I really and truly hope you enjoy it. I also really hope that you connect with me, that if you have suggestions or things that you want to see, additional videos, bonus material that you'd like to see, comment below, subscribe to the channel, send me a message on Twitter at JamesQQuick, and use the hashtag CoreWebDev so that we can be connected and we can follow up with each other and we can all get better at web development as we move along. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and dive in to part one in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.